Hello everyone, my name is Luca Andrea Baraldi. I am an Italian designer, also recently graduated from the Design Academy. Um, can we please have this slide? My project is called Acoustic Symbol of Peace, the Peace Engine. Part of it is here in the picture behind me, or here to your right if you are in the room, and is this um, Tetris-like uh, composition of cubes and lines. But it's also what you hear in this moment. It is an installation that invites people to give their personal interpretation of peace and combines them and, um, through an um, algorithm and uh, creates a new symbol of peace, which I call the acoustic symbol of peace. Hopefully, by the end of this presentation, it's going to be a little clearer how it works and why I made these decisions. Um, well, um, the whole project is uh, meant to question the um, well, question the current symbols that represent peace, in that to me are unsuited to do so, as they lack one or both of these aspects, which is which are complexity of meaning and neutrality. Take, for example, the C and D sign. It's probably the first uh, symbol that comes to your head when thinking about peace, that circle with a vertical line and two oblique lines. Well, that symbol, because of its origins and how it is used, is more interpretable as a anti-war symbol, which is, of course, just a very small um, side of what peace is. Um, about neutrality, Think about a second very common uh, symbol, which is the white dove. That represents, to me, um, cultural supremacy. How can uh, such a strong Christian symbol represent peace universally? There are also other symbols that, to me, are not very suited because their interpretation is very ambiguous. Uh, an example is the national gifts, which are gifts given from all the nation to the Peace Palace for this foundation, to celebrate this foundation. And uh, there is this one particular one, which uh, is very interesting. It bears very, uh, really small owls in the bottoms that in our Western world represent uh, wisdom, but in other, of course, represent uh, evil. Uh, of course, it was uh, perceived as kind of offensive to represent peace. So my goal with this project was to create a new symbol which bears complexity, but also neutrality. It was clear since the beginning that I couldn't work with visuals because even the most basic visual elements bear so much cultural connotation. So I turned to sound, which apart from being a very powerful means of communication, it's also so much more lighter, freer of culture when it's taken apart from its source. Starting from, um, from neutrality, I, um, I researched how, how can I find the, um, the purest, more innocent, if you want, less cultural sound. So I turned to, well, the physics of sound. The, Base, most basic element of sound is uh, a sine wave. If you take any sound and you strip it down of all its characteristics, you end up with a sine wave, which is energy at a single frequency. Okay, so I had the first uh, step. But of course, this one, this one tone cannot represent peace. Maybe it represents more uh, dictatorship. It's one choice, it's no choice. Uh, so I gave it a space where it could move freely and the space is a, is a scale. It's a musical scale. Of course, musical scales are very, um, are very cultural. Every, um, every culture has its own scale and what makes their music so typical. So, I, of course, I couldn't use any of those, so I created my own. I created a new uh, piece scale that is based on something we have all in common, which is the physics of our world. It's based on this thing called the uh, um, overtone series. It's kind of a hidden structure uh, behind every sound that gives every sound its uh, characteristic. So I have a, a tone, I have a space where you can move, but of course there is a lot more than peace represents, of course, than just being neutral. So I turned into 
Well, um, I, I, I thought maybe I can, uh, I can uh, use this into a more kind of collective way. Maybe I need some uh, subjectivity in it, probably. And so that's, what, that's when this structure, the peace engine, came in. Um, it starts from um, subjectivity. It, as you can see, there are three elements in it, three cubes. The one on the left, where you can enter, uh, it invites people to, well, evaluate a little bit the concept of peace. Peace uh, starts from, from uh, every single person, is, uh, is the subjective part of peace, not only because it's uh, as a subjective interpretation, but uh, because it has to start from, um, from an inner psychological and spiritual peace. It also represents the kind of the right of existence, the right of freedom, the right of choice, of expression. People are invited to give their own acoustic interpretation of peace by humming or singing, even by speaking. But what I'm looking for really is the acoustic intention, not the meaning of words. When this is uh, when uh, um, the first input gets in the installation, it goes through the second step, which is that little cube in the middle. That is the brain of the of the installation, and it has two roles. The first is to translate this, um, uh, this personal, very subjective input into a neutral uh, language, the one I was talking about before. So every input is turned into a single sine wave that is free to move in the scale. And the second um, role that it has is to um, ease conflict. This is the second I think probably the most important part of the concept of peace is the conflict resolution. It is coexistent and is this connection to the concept of justice. So basically what it does is um, it evaluates the I call it needs of uh, every input. So how loud it is, so the, um, the amplitude, uh, what kind of journey it goes through in the scale, so the, uh, the frequency and also the rhythm, so the speed and uh, how it is divided uh, rhythmically. And what it does is kind of act as a um, moderator. It tries to find um, a new balance between uh, these two inputs and uh, so that they co can coexist in a balanced way. Of course, when the third inputs come, then this happens again. And then this new form community has to adapt to the third uh, input that comes, and so on and so forth, until we create uh, an archive, a community of of inputs that at the end create one unique piece, which is, uh, well, the acoustic symbol of peace. Um, you can uh, hear it now going. Uh, today there's been some uh, um, contribution, so this is uh, it's kind of his first state. And after this uh, talk, I invite everyone to give their own uh, contribution. And uh, thank you. Thank you.